A major announcement from the U.S. Supreme Court today. The justices will take up Mississippi's appeal of a lower court ruling that struck down a ban on most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The announcement is a major boost to pro-life organizations. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. The U.S. Supreme Court first announced a woman's constitutional right to an abortion in the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision. Some 19 years later, they reaffirmed it. But this Mississippi case could bring some real change. Mississippi wants to protect babies after 15 weeks, and we believe that they ought to have the right to do so. Mallory Quigley with the Susan B. Anthony list tells me the United States is one of only seven countries, including China and North Korea, that allow elective abortions beyond the 20-week mark. She hopes this case will change that. The case deals with a 2018 Mississippi law that banned most abortions after 15 weeks. The law makes exceptions only for medical emergencies or in cases in which there is, quote, severe fetal abnormality. A federal judge struck down the law and an appeals court upheld the judge's ruling. A central question in the case is about viability, whether a baby can survive outside the mother's womb at 15 weeks. This is really just an argument about the humanity of the unborn child. Um, viability is a moving standard that's ever changing based on medical advances and the technology that we have access to. This is something that presents perhaps the perfect vehicle for the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Sarah Partial Perry is the legal fellow at the Mies Center at the Heritage Foundation. She says due to the makeup of the Supreme Court, a 6-3 to three conservative majority, this time change could happen. Last month's upholding of the ban in Ohio of abortions selected on the basis of Down syndrome diagnoses is a good indicator of the fact that this court is particularly, at least to a marginal degree, inclined more toward restrictions of abortion, at least for medical purposes. The Supreme Court is expected to hear the case next term sometime in the fall. If the Supreme Court justices uphold Mississippi law, any doctor who violates the ban could face mandatory suspension and have their license possibly revoked. Outside the Supreme Court, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.